If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, go check out ufifa.com. Use Joe5 for 5% off. My link is in the description. So, yeah, go buy some coins. Yes, lads, how's it going? Max here, and today, welcome to FIFA 15 Tottenham Hotspur player predictions. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be predicting Hugo Lloris, Paulinho, and Christian Eriksen's cards for FIFA 15. Remember, all these stats are my own. None of them are actually guaranteed stats for FIFA 15. And me being a Spurs fan, you guys might think some of these are a little biased, but I, honest to God, I've tried my hardest, and I've, I've looked around and seen who's got an inform this year. Obviously, Eriksen's got an inform. So I've kind of tried to keep it the way it probably should be. Just let me know down below what you guys think. And yeah, let's jump into the first player. So Christian Eriksen's card on the right-hand side, obviously, it's the FIFA 15 predicted one. And on the left-hand side, it's current FIFA 14 card. So on his current FIFA 14 card, he's got 82 rated with 83 pace, 84 dribbling, 74 shooting, 83 passing. And blah, like, the shit defending and shit heading. He's actually a cam, but EA actually made him a left mid because he has played most of his games this season for Tottenham Hotspur on the left-hand side. So I've put him as a left mid card. His current card, left mid, is an informed card also. And I've given him 83 pace, 85 dribbling, 76 shooting, 84 passing, 57 defending and 53 heading. Now I think there's some decent stats in there. That card will definitely be decent on the game. It'll be, fun. It'll be decent to see what FIFA 15 actually implies, whether you actually need good passes on the ball, whether you actually need pace like this year. Because this year and last year, obviously, pace has been a big factor. But seeing him on the left mid, I can see his card probably being not used as much. Because you definitely need that sort of player running through them, running down the centre, running through on goal. I mean, that's a decent all-rounded card. Looks really fun to use, but the left mid does put you off. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Ericsson, and let's move on to Paulinho. So on the left-hand side, you can see Paulinho's current FIFA 15 card at centre mid, 81 rated. And on the right-hand side, I've given him 82 rated, and I've actually changed his default position to central defensive mid. Now, I don't know if you guys would agree with that. If you do, pop a comment down below. I've given him 78 pace, 79 dribbling, 70 defending, 75 heading, 80 passing, and 69 shooting. Not 70 defending, sorry. I've given him 79 defending. I was obviously reading something dodgy there. But if you guys do agree with that, then obviously pop a comment down below because he's had such a good season. And I honestly do believe he might not have been amazing at the World Cup, but he's one of those players that gets around the pitch. He's a proper box to box player, and he's one that's really going to enjoy it. I'm really looking forward to using his card in FIFA 15. Bearing in mind what EA do with his card, I don't know. If it's anything like that, I can see him being a decent player. So moving on to the last but not least, final third player, we have got Hugo Lloris. Obviously been an outstanding keeper for Spurs in the last season and the season before. Now this guy I've actually upgraded to 85 and you guys might be thinking, why are you upgrading him? He's been conceding goals left, right and centre. Now that's because of our defence. Spurs' defence recently has been absolutely abysmal. We've had to sort that out, honestly. I mean, if you look at his card stats also on the left-hand side, the stats are absolutely unreal. But that didn't perform too in-game, in my opinion. It's a bit like Courtois, actually. The stats just didn't reflect anything. I mean, there's probably like 1 in 10 people that actually think he's OP on this game. And I wasn't one of them. But in real life, I'm a massive fan of him. But I, what, I, what I have done is downgraded his diving by 2 and his reflexes by 2. I've kept his handling the same. I've bumped his kicking up and I've bumped his position and speed up. Now, this guy's speed, if I could, I'd probably put it in the 80s. But I'd probably get a bit of hate for that. Because this guy's always off his line. And I really do hope he's going to be an outstanding keeper for Spurs next year. Really looking forward to seeing him in that new in that new goal. <laughs> Makes no sense. But he's signed a new contract as well. Which means he's going to be staying at the club. And huh, what a keeper this guy is. So if you guys did enjoy that and you do want me to do more of these FIFA 15 player predictions, pop some players down below and I'll see if I can get them going and get those out for you ASAP. Obviously it's hard because any any card I make, the predictions are always going to be a bit biased if it's Spurs or there's always going to be people saying, oh, this rating's wrong and that rating's wrong. But that's the whole fun of it. We like to see your opinions. We like to see what ratings you would have given them. And yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. Until next time, bye-bye for now.